and click the notifications button. Hi guys, and welcome to Art Camp in a Box. Hopefully you got your box, and if you got your big box with all this cool stuff in it, what I need you to do is pull out the apron. And let me move the box out of the, out of the table. Right. Okay. So once you get your apron, go ahead and put it on. If you think it's too big for you, because it's a one size fits all, you can always do what Lily and I did. And let me show you what that is. That is that you could cut the neck, uh, the little, whatever you call it, necktie, and cut it in half and then you can tighten it like that behind your neck and make it whatever length you want. I also, Lily, stand up. Did you tie yours in the front? Yeah. So Lily has tied hers in the front. So you can either tie it in the back or tie it in the front. And then, oh my gosh, we should all write our names on the tops. We'll yeah. have to get a Sharpie and do that. But we don't have to do that just yet. But we're gonna be seeing you all throughout the week doing 10 different projects. And we're gonna be, uh, you know, hopefully you're gonna keep watching our videos, you know, in order. But if you don't, that's okay. But if you do, um, you know, put on your apron each time. Some projects are really messy and some aren't as messy. And once you've got that on, then, we're gonna tell you a little bit more about uh, Art Camp in a Box. Well, we've been doing Art Camp for a long time, right Lily? We've been doing these art camps for decades and every summer kids would come and get together. We have lots of really awesome instructors and you're gonna meet some of those throughout some of these videos. And we do all kinds of projects, drawings, paintings, sculptures, and a lot of them are inspired by famous artists or famous movements in art history. And then some are just strictly building skills. During the box, you have 10 projects, and then we'll show you with our bonus video how you can exhibit an art show of all your works. In your own home. Yeah, and show it to your family and friends, and you might just have one presentation, and you might just keep your art up for a long time. I don't know. But if you're ready to get started, the first project bag is uh, learning how to draw objects. Or we call it a lot of times timed drawings because we do this with timing. What we do is we turn on music and once the music starts, we start drawing and once the music stops, we gotta stop. And you wonder, what are we gonna draw? What do you think, Lily? Maybe like everyday objects, like yeah. pencils or scissors. So we're gonna or take a roll of tape. everyday objects, something like this. And we're going to bring, and I'll show you an example of one of how one of these things turns out. Now, before we get started, let's get your supplies out. So, in the first bag, what should they get, Lily? Well, you should get five pieces of white cardstock, a pre-cut. Yep. You should also get a pencil, an ebony pencil, graphite pencil. And, and this is a blood extension. Yes. Now this is just your normal school pencil. This writes a little darker and shades a little nicer. And this is a blending stick only for sh if you want to do a little extra shading. And what else do they get? Well, you also get three stamped backings in, uh, to display your art to mm -hmm. like mount it on it and make it really nice. Yeah. And you only get three, but you get five of these, so you get to pick your fit, your top three. top three favorite pieces of work yeah. that you made. And yeah. then you also get three pieces of pre-cut cellophane to wrap it in. And what do they need to wrap it with? Did you already show them that? And I missed oh, that. Oh, and you need tape. And you need the tape to wrap it. So all of this together, what we're going to do is we're going to do five quick drawings. And out of those drawings, you're gonna pick your favorite three to wrap and mount to save for the art show. So you don't have to have all of them in. We want your best three out of five. And, oh my gosh, we are about to get started on the drawings. Now, we do this in our class, or in our camps, as a warm up. And that's because, just like when you exercise, you need to warm up a little before you do the big You need to stretch before yeah. you do like a big game. 
Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to warm it up. So these drawings aren't about being a masterpiece that you're going to hang in your museum. These are more like warm it up, get loose, draw big, and draw bold. If you don't want to, you don't have to presentate these in your art show, but we like to. Because it makes more cool art. Yeah. Yeah. So when we do this, we also, I, we're going to be going fast, fast. You, all that you need to do is your best and try. What these exercises actually do is they teach you to be able to see objects better, to really take a look at the shape and size and the things that are going on that you're viewing. Then before you know it, you can draw anything, any shape. But it just takes a little practice. So don't get hard on yourself if it doesn't look like a photograph when it's done because it's not gonna. It's gonna look like this or it might even be scribblier because some of these we're gonna do with their eyes closed. So. Let's get started. So take your first piece of paper and then clear your space, except one piece of paper. And the first object we're going to attempt is this really simple, uh, it's a pencil holder. And you can also draw this with either your graphite pencil or your regular pencil. You do not have to use both, but you can and, do it. Yeah, so I take a look at the shape. It's very flat on the sides. It's a hexagon and it's very flat at the bottom, but it has angles. Then we know what a pencil looks like. It looks like this. It's just a long stick, but these, you see the ends. It's got a eraser and it's got three little green lines, but we're not using green. So green is darker than yellow. It just means you're going to make three dark lines, right? Yeah. And then they're going different directions, but they're all going into this little uh, pencil can. So I'm going to do one demonstration for you and we'll zoom it in on Silverhead camera and I'll show you really quickly how to break this uh, shapes down. So there's one, there's all kinds of shapes within this one object. So the first bold shape I see is the very front, the panel, it's a rectangle. So I start in the bottom half of my paper and oh I also need to know am I going to be turning my paper vertical or horizontal? Well, if I want to fill up my paper, which one fills it up the best, Lily? Vertical. Vertical. This is a little more shaped yes. like this. And also, when you're drawing, you, tr you want to try to draw it mostly to actual size. Because you don't want to have like a really small pencil box. Or, or it's so tiny you can't even draw those stripes yeah, on it. Or like a really big, like... Scissors or something. Well, you just, you want to at least draw it as big as the actual size. Yeah. So here's my little demonstration. I'm going to start with the easiest shape. It's right there in the front. I'm going to put it in the bottom half of my drawing because it's the bottom half of this object. And I'm going to draw a rectangle. Remember, these are sketches. You really don't need to erase. You're just practicing. Then I have two side panels. They're actually the same size. See if I turned it. Except, it, visually, they're going to look thinner, they're going to look like the sides go back in space. So I'm going to go up and out to this corner and up and out like that. I'm going to do the same thing to the top of my pencil jar and then I'm coming down like this. And the, it looks like one of those science reports, you know what I mean, where you have to take the or like and a, it up. Or like a brochure. Or a brochure or something, like a trifold brochure. Anyway. So we've got this, but we're not going to put the back on unless we want to draw it really lightly. It does the same thing as the front, but the opposite direction. So far it looks like this. But now I'm going to start adding pencils in. I'm going to add my tallest pencil. And how tall is it? Well, I take my fingers and I go and I lock them into place and I go that length is about the length of the bottom of, 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 the, of the pencil jar, pencil can. Box. Box, jar, can. Whatever it is. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I lock my fingers here on my drawing and go, oh, it's that high? That, and my pencil's probably about that high. So I'm going to start with my highest pencil and it's coming down on an angle. It's just two lines, right? They go in there and it's got a rounded tip. The eraser's pretty short. I've got three rings of black or of green, but I'm going to represent them with black going around. And if I can see where those edges of the pencil are, I can draw a little line. Then I go to the next one, but I want things to be in front of and behind each other. So I'm going to uh, have the things that are in front, I'm going to draw those first. So I see the little short ones are in front and those little uh, erasers look like little like 
arrows or mushrooms that are shaped like arrows. Oh, like a top hat, like a pointed like top hat. Like a top hat. hat. Yeah, they kind of remind me of that. I don't know. So I see a lot of those towards the bottom because those are the shorter pencils. They've lost their eraser so far. Some of them I only see the tips. So I just go around and I draw them where I see them. I see one to the left. I see one above that one. I draw it. I see one below that one in the can. Now I see a pencil in front here, right in here. So I'm now I'm drawing another one. This one has a oh, full eraser. Oh, you forgot eraser. to, to, to the draw pencil. the pencil part of there. Oh, got to get that it's in. Just, it was just the eraser. Okay, so then I'm going to put those little stripes in, put my little line in, and move on. So as quick as I can, because you're going to have very limited time. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting all these, and I'm, I look up, I look at my paper, I look up, I look at my paper, and if I keep doing that, I'm not looking all over the place. I'm also, focusing. some of the pencils are uh, pointed up, so the eraser is not showing at all, and the eraser side is on the bottom of the jar. Yeah. So you can do your pencil that way too. Yeah, and they don't have to be perfect. This is a sketch. This isn't a finished, you know, drawing. Oh, I see one that's in upside down. So I'm, I'm going to go like that. I see that pencil. I see one right next to it. It's got the eraser, and then I see a few more. I'm gonna add those. And remember, I'm not spending forever on this. If you have a pencil that goes behind another one, you stop and continue, you know, right where it ends. Ooh, that one was kind of crazy. I don't like that, that little bit right here. I'm gonna erase it, but don't spend too much time erasing. Okay, and then we've got a few more right here. Here's one that I only see a bit of, and then here's a, another topper. And I've got about that many. And now this one, I gotta continue it, how it goes in the can. And let's see, have I got one more? Now I think that's about it. Now I'm gonna draw the back of the, the jar, or what are we calling this? The pencil jar, the pencil. Yeah. And then I can only see the back in a couple of areas, the back edge. In between that, it looks a little dark. So if I have enough time, I'm gonna darken in. Oh, because the inside is black. Yeah, the inside is black. So if I have enough time, I'm gonna darken in the spaces that are in between the pencils and in the jar. And then it looks a little bit like this. And if I had any more time, I'd look and see wh which one of those white panels looks like it has the most shade. And then I might shade it like this and take my finger to blend it if it's a big spot. Or I might take my blending stick and rub it. Then I have this side is a little dirty, and if I have a shadow at the bottom, I can just shade that. And then if I wanted to, I would go to one of my little dirty spots here and get my, my blending stick dirty and shade. It looks like the left side of most of my erasers is in the shadow, or has a shadow to it, or shade. And then the right side's got a highlight. So I might go back and do that only to one but side. But you, you but only you might do not have this, enough time. Yeah, if you only have time. So let this me let me review that one more time. If I only had two minutes to do this, I'll show you how quick I would do it. The first thing I would do would be draw the bottom. Then I draw the sides going up. Then I connect. Then I start putting pencils in. I put that long one in. I just go like that. And I, I do, it doesn't have to be perfect, remember it's a sketch. And then I do another one that's crossing it. And then I come down, now I see, ooh, I see two more that are that shape. And then I see one back here. And now the rest have those little crazy toppers on them. So I'm gonna add those in where I see them. And I see one back here. And I see one right in here, kind of like that. And then I see one, ooh, and then I see a bunch of them right in the front. Because those are, like I said, those are the short pencils that are shoved in there. And I see another one of these pencils. And you might see your thing, your object at a different perspective. Yeah. So this is- That's where you are. Yeah, okay. so I see one going behind one, and this one has a little topper on it. And you know, you don't have a lot of time. So now I'm gonna add the skinny things and then I'm going to add the back and then I'm gonna say, ooh, is it shaded? Oh, well, you know, I'm gonna add those dark spots in between where I saw it was dark. Only if I have enough time because I only have two minutes, then I'm gonna take the side of my ebony pencil 
and I'm gonna do this to the front. And then on the side, I'm gonna rub that in, and then on the side, I'm gonna add another gray, and I'm gonna add a shadow on here. And Just then my, try yeah, do your best. Do your best, and then if you have extra time, you can shade half of each pencil, and boom, done. Okay, you, the time's gonna go really yes. fast. Just do what you can. Yes, and on this one, we're only gonna have one minute, 60 no. seconds. 60 seconds? Yeah. That's oh, I thought we were gonna have two minutes. Should we give them two minutes? Jack, can we change, DJ Jack, can we change that to two minutes on the first one? Yes. Okay, we're gonna give you two minutes on the very first one, because this one's detailed. So, let's get your paper out. Get ready. I like to draw with the ebony, but you can draw with the regular one if you're more comfortable with that. So, when we say on your market set draw and the music starts, that's when it's time to start. So, Jet, you ready? Yeah. Okay, give us some music. Give that's us a good. countdown. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Draw. Oh. Get those tall pencils in. Oh my goodness. The time is flying by. Tell us when we have used up half our time, Jay. Tell us when we have one minute left. Okay. Keep looking at those objects. Time is used up now. I think I have all my pencils in at the halftime part. Well, maybe another one I gotta add. Now I'm gonna darken in the spaces in between. Practices, so I got this far. But anyway, that was just—it's like I said—it's a warm-up. It's getting your juices flowing. It's getting your energy up and ready to make art. Let's move this. Now we're going to go to a simpler, a simpler shape. But our simpler shape. And we're going to have another piece of paper. Yep. Our simpler shape is going to be this and we're block. We're only going to have thirty seconds on this one. Yeah, this one is so quick. Jack, can you take a peek and make sure this is in? They can see this here. And then, yes, they can. yep, okay, it's going to look a little something like this. And I'm gonna show you how to come up with this shape by looking at this. So take your uh, paper, and the first thing I do is I look for the closest corner to me. And I do a vertical line. You can draw this sideways if you want. Do you wanna draw this one sideways? Okay, it's up to you. It's it's I'm a square. It's vertical. the same height as this one. Okay, I'm gonna do it sideways. So the first thing I do is I make a vertical line. That's just like one inch line. I'm trying to make it actual size, right? So I'm making about one inch line. Then that's the line going up, and then it goes back. How do you make something go back when it's flat? You go up and out. Okay. So now I'm gonna go up and out. One side looks a little longer than the other, just a little bit. So go ahead, and then you're gonna repeat that because these are parallel. So I'm gonna go here and here. Now the sides, these corners, they're also vertical up and down. So they can't be angled. They gotta be straight up and down, like that. And now this line and this line match. They're in parallel. So I go like this, 
and then this line and this line match, and I get this one. And there's my block. This block is actually rounded off in the corners. It was, it's like so a two you, by four. Yeah, okay? you could so you do can round that it off if, you, if you, want, you want. That's optional. You don't have to. Okay, that's optional. And then you can look at it and go, which side has the most light? The top. Which one has, and then the side. This might be a little bit not as bright. You know, so I'll look up from the back side. This one's the shadier one. And then this one has a little shade, but not as much. So I can rub this in. You're only gonna get 30 seconds, and that's all you wanna come up with. And then we're gonna give you more time on the next draw, okay? Yeah. So I wanna see if you can draw this block. It's basically a flat cube, okay? Who's ready? And then this one is over here. You can see that one too. Are you ready? Are you ready? Oh, we can do 30 this seconds. This is 30 on this seconds. One. Yeah. Get these verticals first. Let's see if we can do Tell this. Tell us if we have five seconds left. Yeah, I okay. need you to show three sides and make it this big, and that's all. Okay. On yeah. your mark, get set, draw. Get harder, but save this. Oh, each one of your drawings, sign your name. This might have been the first time you've ever done a 3D drawing, but maybe you've been drawing blocks for years. We don't know. So that's why we do warm ups to practice and see where we're at. Okay, so next we're going to do something like five blocks stacked. Okay, five blocks stacked, you're gonna get. Oh my gosh, you're gonna get a minute. No, we better go two minutes on this Three track. minutes. Three minutes? Three minutes? Three minutes on so this. So one whole song. So let me demonstrate. This was one of the ones one of the students did that I saved. And um, let me show you how this is gonna look. Okay, you're gonna start with the top block and draw it just like you did the last block with the corner closest to you. And you start it at the top. So I'm gonna start at the top of my paper and I'm going to draw, let me get this in the picture. So we basically just want to draw the block that we just did, but slightly smaller so and multiple of them. And it also at different angles. Too. Yeah, so I got that first block. I drew that just like the other one, but now I've got a new block. I've got to find that closest corner to me. So you're right there, that's on the right. I'm going to make that line right there. I'm looking for that corner and now I'm looking for that corner. The other corner's over here. Now I'm gonna connect these two corners. Just like that. And then I'm going to go back, and this one goes back a little farther, and I've got all my edges have to be vertical. And then this parallels with the back one, and this parallels with the front one, but I just don't go all the way through. That's how I get the second one. Even though it looked a little bit longer, didn't it? Okay, and then I go, where is this corner? This corner's more, even more to the right. It's right over here. And I see it goes like that, so I'm gonna go like that. It goes back here. That block, I don't see as much of. Like that. So this is gonna be pretty easy since you don't have to yeah. draw the entire block. Um, That's true. Entire, but I've got two more like, blocks, entire, okay? Yeah. So two more blocks. Now I've got one over here, and I find the corner, and it goes this way. So I gotta bring this one out. If you need to draw through it, that's okay, because those are sketch lines. I got one more to go. Now I look for where the corner is, it's out here to the right, and then I draw that. And I get this one, okay. And there's my stacked blocks. Mine, I made mine a little long, didn't I? Like this one should have been shorter. Yeah, Yeah. that's that okay. That's okay, just because you know, it's you just a do. practice. Yeah. Okay. So that might have looked a little better. They look kind of like butter blocks or something, I don't know. 
So hey, a little bit. If you have enough time in the two minutes after you've drawn this to shade, then by all means go and shade. You can find maybe one side is the shadow side of each block. Maybe it's on me it's the right side. Okay? So that I might have all those. And then my top, the light is coming from above. So it's the brightest side. And then this side's a little lighter. But I can take my dirty finger and blend or these in and then take, take my finger. Or you can take your dirty blending stick. And do it. Yeah, but you know what I love to do is just keep my finger dirty with this and then it's dirty enough to make these sides a little dirty. Okay, DJ Chen, are you ready? Everybody needs to get their paper. This is going to be a two minute. That's 120 no, seconds. No, three minutes. Two. Two. Two oh. on this. So two. not a time zone. Tell us, DJ Jet, tell us when it's, you know, when we got 15 seconds left. Wait. Are you ready at home? We're ready for you. Remember, these are warm ups. They're not masterpieces. These are just to get you ready yeah. for our next exciting drawing project with colored pencils. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's do it. Yeah. On your mark, get set, draw. <laughs> Okay, get that first block. Says we might get a bonus 30 seconds. Then let's get, let's go ahead and put it back on for 30 more seconds. On your I mark, got two blocks. okay, on your mark, get set, draw. Did awesome. If you got one or two, you did great. Alrighty. And if you added shading, wow, that's a challenge. Alrighty, so now we're moving on. We have two more drawings, okay? So hang in there, we're just warming up. Okay, two more. The next one, I think the shape's easier. This has this is a simple shape, but it has that perspective that makes it so, you know, like you have to think about it. Like so, complex. Yeah. You gotta make sure it's lined up. Okay. So here we go. Get a new piece of paper. Oh, and don't forget to write your name in the corner. Yes. yes. Okay, here comes our easier one. You get an extra piece of paper. Okay. Our next project, I'm just going to, well, we're gonna do one. Okay. We're going to draw one pair of scissors. And I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. What about you, Lily? One. Where did I lose my ebony pencil? You can take mine, I'm not using it. You're not using it? Yeah. Oh my, oh here it is, okay. Just use mine. Okay, so what we're doing on this one is pretend like these scissors, if they were on your paper, that's how big they need to be. 
actual size, actual size. And we're gonna have our paper horizontal too. Yeah, so I'm going to look at these scissors. The easiest shape is the blades. It makes a super long triangle like that. And then it's got a little handle, whoops. And the handle comes over here and it has a little screw in it. It's dark, okay. And then it spreads out and makes a loop. So I'm gonna go all the way out here and make a long loop. And I'm gonna angle this and I'm going to like that. And then the inside I see a bump and a curve like this. And that's one of them. And if I was really advanced, I'd add a little edge where it's cutting. Next, I'm drawing the other one crossing. So it has to go through the screw. So it has to come out somewhere in here. So let's go over here and here. Got that part of the scissors. Now these come in and they bend. They come through here. And this one, this is a long handle and this is a more rounder one. A more goes, smaller. Yeah, smaller hole. Handle. Yeah. Goes over here like that. Mm, I might have made that it too small. That looks like the same size. Well, I made it. Well, it's gonna have As a loop this. though. It, and it has a little it's loop. It's this. And it's got the bluish part here, and it comes in more like that. That's the part I messed up. Is right in there. Okay. Then I look for sh shading. What's the darkest thing here? Black. What's the next darkest thing? Blue. Right. And then what's the lightest? White. Yeah. So we're just gonna leave the white white. The black. We're gonna go ahead and if we have enough time, we're gonna fill it in. If you get on that, don't even worry about it. Then you're gonna go over here, do that dark, blah, blah, blah. Okay, and then on the side of this, so it got a little shadow, but the blues are gonna be not as dark as black, but darker than white. So kind of like a grayish. Yeah, a gray, middle value. So then I go back over here, And if I have time, I see there's a little thing over here. So just try to do your best. Yeah, and if you're yeah. waiting around and you're like, wow, that was so easy, I'm just hanging out waiting, then you can always add shadows. So shadows, I like to make those with my like dirty finger. Also, how long do we have for this one? This one, oh, I'm gonna give you two minutes to detail this one. Yeah. That's as long as the stacked block, so you might even do better with this one if you're more into these curvy shapes and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, who's ready to do it? I'm ready. You're ready, okay, I'm so ready. Two minutes. Two minutes. And on your mark, get set. You ready, Jet? Draw. Oh, I like this song. Because I'm feeling good at our camp. This time I started with this. Oh, I better get back to the blades. Oh my goodness! 
this. There's one pair of scissors. This one goes on top of this one. Holy crap. And the last one. You got one, Lily. Don't shit it. Get them all in there. Get all three and then go back to the detail. You choose something that goes off, that's okay. Okay, I've got all my drawings, so now I'm gonna add my shadows. your goal getting the shapes down if you had any extra time added some darks and some lights and maybe some shadows but boy that's hard to do in three minutes now that we've done five uh, quick sketches if you'd like you can wrap your art right after each project or you can wait till the end of everything you've made and then wrap everything if you want to see how to wrap it let me give you a few tips and show you so I had five of these drawings I'm picking my three best and this is one of my three best, I think. I'm gonna make sure I sign it. So I'm gonna put my signature. You can have your name, your first name, your last name, you can have your initials, or you can create your own art name. You know, there's famous artists that don't use their real names, like Banksy. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna, you know, come up with your art name, then you're gonna take your, one of your backings and your tape, and you're going to make four tape loops. What's a tape loop? Well, it's when you take the tape and you loop it around, make a circle with it, and you make sure the sticky side's out. You need four of those, one on each corner. Sometimes when uh, kids use tape, they go, oh, gosh, I just can't cut it. I can't cut it. So I'm gonna give you a tip on how to cut it. So when you pull it down, if you just go down like this, it takes so long, but if you whip it to rip it, it comes off really quick. So I always whip it to rip it. Okay, so I've got it down like that. Now I'm going to lay this out and I'm going to match it up. Matching it up with my cardboard. Okay. Then I pull that little crumb of cardboard off. Now I take one of my cellophane sheets and I lay it down on my clean area. I try to find a clean area. I make sure there's no dust in it. And I put this down and make sure that cellophane goes past every edge. Then I take my tape. I usually get two pieces of tape and stick them on two fingers. And then I fold over one end. And then I pull tight and fold over the opposite end, the one across from it. Then I get two more tapes. Now I'm going to do the sides. Same thing, but I'm doing the sides. 
gosh, I'm getting this tape all stuck together. Okay, now I'm going to do the corners because so far I've got it like this, but I don't want the cellophane to show in the corners. So I fold it or roll it until it doesn't show from the front and then I put a piece of tape to keep it down. So let me show you how that works. I, I fold it or roll it. Just the idea is that this corner cellophane doesn't show from the front. And I do my third corner, bam. Oops, that one got kind of funky. So I'm gonna fix it like that. And my last corner's coming up. So this one, I'm just gonna roll it up like that and then I flip it over and now my art is ready for presentation I make sure all the crumbs are off it this is ready for the big art show after all my art is completed in the art camp in a box I'm gonna hang all this up and you're gonna be able to get some ideas from my bonus video about how to put on an art show I hope that you got warmed up and you're ready to go because we've got more cool art projects coming. And the next one in our series in the Art Camp in a Box is David Hockney's Abstract Landscape with Color Pencils. That one, you're gonna be working on one thing the entire time instead of all this madness. But once again, welcome to Art Camp in a Box and we've got more fun in store for you. And I can't wait to make some more cool art.